Uh, uh, mm. Good evening. Welcome back. Hello. Hi. I'm in pain. Oh, I, ju I just finished my exam period and halfway through for no reason at all. My mouth started to swell up and the swelling is gone now. I had went to the doctor a few times, but uh, all the cracks and wounds are, are still there. So how are you doing? Which means it's gonna add a little bit of extra edge and pain to the following encounter in this hopefully final episode of American McGee's Alice. If you're new here, hi, I'm Terry. I play games. I'm really bad at it. That's the general idea. This is a really old game. It's from 2000. It's based on the Alice in Wonderland box. And uh, after spending a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time, it hurts to talk. Dying. Like all the time. Uh, we're at the gate. Yeah, we're at the gates of the queen. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, we're looking tough, aren't we? Alright, uh, let's plunder bus, plus plunder, plunder plus. Damn, Skippy. Ow, 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 ow. Knife. 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 Let's list all the things we're not gonna miss about this game. Like stuff like this. Yoink. At this point, it's just mostly. Cut some bruises on my lips and tongue. Which is fantastic if you have to hold the final presentation of your exam week. Right. That 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 was you know what, I'm just used to it by now. Auto save every step that you take. That is my recommendation. And that is why. Next. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. You okay? Okay, there are more guys around, I can hear it. Every time you think you're, you're there, or almost there, when you think this stuff is almost... Hey, Richie, I've seen those in a while. Can I get to that? How does one get to that, Richie? Oh! Surprise attack! We're so close, just let me finish the damn game. And if you're like, just dodge it, just dodge all that crap. That crap is hard to fucking dodge. Let me tell you that. Jesus. Jesus, what? Oh my god! They just fall. Thank you. I'm just gonna run. No. Don't care. Ow. Ow. I'm already cranky. Full health, full ammo. Let's do this. Oh, this is what I mean. Like, it looked so definitive. It looked so done. But it's really not. Like, I thought we're gonna go for the final episode, but we're probably not. Oh no. Whoa. 
No! No, that's not fair. Go away, that's not fair. Oh, this is getting graphic. Graphic. You should see this kind of texture in the second game. That's where it gets real graphic. And I know their intent, America McGee intends to probably bring this texture back in the third game. So that's gonna be fun. I mean, I complain about this game a lot. But it is my favorite game for a reason. Like, there is a certain nuance about the original story, the Alice in Wonderland story, that calls for a certain interpretation that, you know, some, most people kind of tried, hey, there's the Ouija thingy, kind of tried to get, where did I go from here, that kind of tried to interpret it, but didn't really manage to get the idea across, and that's because to get that idea across you have to go kind of extreme, and extreme as in a matter we're talking about mental health issues. And the word mental health issue doesn't begin to cover what this woman is going through. Basically, I think American McGee asked himself the question, what would happen if a girl who has the fantasies slash experiences that Alice has, and then adds some trauma to it? And not just a little bit of trauma, like a lot of trauma. How does that world evolve? How does it assist her? Oh, shit in dealing with it and this game is the answer and it just offers a lot of interesting perspectives to that question he perfectly manages to portray what you have to go through to deal with your guilt and your hello with your guilt and your trauma yeah because the, the the emotions that she's going through aren't unique to her or her situation like you blame yourself there's a lot of guilt and most importantly, you have to battle that part within you that tells you it's your fault, even if maybe it's not. Like, it doesn't matter if somebody else hurt you or if you made a slight mistake that hurt others. You're always going to spend your life wondering, what did you do wrong? To deserve it or to let it happen or could you have handled it differently? And healing from trauma mostly involves accepting that that is what your mind is. And finding a way to deal with our constant train of thought. Find a way to not let it consume you anymore. Because if there's something that her trauma is doing to her, it's consuming her. That's for sure. Where, where do I go? I can't jump on this thing. Do I have to go up there? This is a hell of a puzzle, McGee. Oh, maybe here? Then I come from here? I guess not. I don't know. I am lost. Ah, I see. No, I've already been here, haven't I? Did I climb the wrong way? Maybe I should fly a little higher. Yeah, okay. I didn't fly high enough. Oi. Grab those. And just go nuts. Ow! Hey. What now? What now? What now? Hey, excuse me, what now? What now? What now? What now?
Please tell me they're giving me full health. The queen, the queen, my lower incisors for the queen. Where is that wretched creature? Oh. I need some health. Okay, that won't be a problem. Okay. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Only a few find a way. Some don't even recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. I'm pretty sure that's a quote referring to the idea of finding a way to deal with trauma. You know. Enter. That's the Hatter. Hang on. Oh! Okay. I mean, it's a mirror. You know, Alice in the Shattered Mirror. No, Alice through the looking glass. Glass. Shattered looking glass. That doesn't seem right. Can't jump through the mirror. Can I? Just let me in! I have earned my resolution! Oh. Did I just break the mirror? Okay, I'm missing a clue here. Knowing an American McGee it's something like you face the mirror towards a particular enemy and this room changes or something. Oh, the static in this game is... Oh, I see. I'm gonna die here. Yeah. That was far from obvious. Not gonna lie. Okay, so the mirror is now facing towards n not nothing. Like okay. And I really don't want to leave you hanging again. That's the thing. All right. So first we go for the clover. Spade, I think it's called. I don't know. Clover. Let's go with Clover before I confuse myself. Clover door. Open. Okay. Can I? No? Okay. Okay. Okay, I've seen a lot of a lot of stuff in this game. Not gonna lie, it's starting to freak me out a little bit. Do I have to go back to the twisted mirror, or can I just go in here? You know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, American does make you work for your resolution. And now we go through the window. 
correct me if you dare. I only know the the Dutch names, okay? I think in Dutch it's called yeah, Ruit, the Ruite, which means like a window or a looking glass or I don't know. It's tricky. Um, what's this one? I guess not. Oh, it was a Jabberwocky. Alright, we'll go again. Did I bug out the game or something? Oh my god. That was the one we had to do. Right? Okay, we're gonna do this different way. There, if this puzzle isn't gonna drive me crazy, then the music surely will. Obviously, these three enemies stand for something and stay in the wall. Okay, now we're gonna run back one more time. Oh, I need to wrap this up, my mouth's starting to hurt. <laughs> Alright, now let's kill this beach. Let's get through this beach. Get rid of this beach. Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long. But now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fear, I speak the truth without regard to consequence. Your courage deserves no less. You've suffered great pain and you've caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse to come. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same Not yet. Okay, my bad. Who am I? Off with her head. Uh, cue and edgy music. I hope that you're watching Don't try to stop this Work until I'm nauseous Cause I will not quit No, because I want this Don't try to stop me Never ain't an option
option So I be cautious I hope that you're watching Don't try to stop this Walk until I'm nauseous Cause I will not quit Not because I want this Don't try to stop me Did you learn anything? Really worth anything? 200 grand later and we're not even working Student loans worth more than what we're earning Best lesson I've learned is to keep on searching Find your true passion and get to work And better take action or you end up serving Yeah, that's a fact So you better clean up your back So you better grow yourself a sack And tell the world they can suck on that Don't come back, pack your bags You take a trip and don't relax You hit the switch and just attack You find your niche and make some racks Don't hold back Everybody wake up It's time to break up With the life you made up it's time to trade up, live the life you want now A life you don't doubt, I could give a fuck how Just get your grit out Wake up, wake up, man this life is a blur Everyone's got an opinion, so which one you prefer? Cause I'll give you one that's coming from an entrepreneur Don't give up on your dream, if it's what you deserve Wonderland alone. Your interference will not be tolerated. This realm is for grown-ups. Raw, well-ordered, ruthless, careening on the jagged edge of reality. Self-pitying dreamers are not wanted here. They cannot survive here. You fear the truth. You live in shadows. Your pathetic attempts to reclaim your sanity have failed. Retreat to the sterile safety of your self delusions or risk inevitable annihilation. If you destroy me, you destroy yourself. Leave now, and some hollow part of you may survive. Stay, and I will break you down. You will lose yourself forever! Oh god, there's more! Uh... I don't know! God, th that thing reminds me of Ursula. Hello? Ooh. What do I shoot? Ow. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I want a resolution. Did I get? No, I did not get it. Oh no. Ow. What is that down there? Can I safely descend? Interesting. I guess I need to pull ammo for that thing. I'll just keep running. 
That's been the best philosophy so far in this game. Just run. Just run. I mean, I wouldn't get this weapon if I didn't need it. Right? Right? Ow. Ow. I don't know how this weapon works. Oh, big thing. I see. Other way. Oh, come on. Oh, shit.
Is it over? Wow, the low res. Good lord. They clearly forgot to update this part of the game. Ah, oh, everything is okay. Rabbit is alive again! And she was finally released from the asylum. <sighs> you know, I'm just glad the sound is gone. That was lovely. Yeah, I enjoyed every second of that. You know, you didn't hear me complain at all or anything. But in all seriousness, church. Oh, it's a good game. And I'll tell you why it's a good game. It's a good game because it touches on the new ones that even most horror games don't really touch on. It touches on the idea that the original Alice Little was already gone before the fire. If you're familiar with the books, you're familiar with how the world is supposed to look like. And then after trauma, it turns into this. I think that's very relatable for anyone who deals with trauma. I think after trauma, after going through something horrific, your inner world becomes grey. Your perspective changes and... Like I said earlier, when you spent most of your time in your wonderland blaming yourself for what happened, even though that isn't fair, not to yourself, not to anyone really. I, in my honest opinion, the second game became a little more superficial in that regard. Like they still touch on some complicated subject matter, but they don't really go that personal anymore as they went in this game. The third game does get that deep again because it kind of goes back to her time in the asylum. And Mary McGee wants to make a third game. She has the design for it, the idea for it, the plot and everything. But EA owns the, li owns the license and the thing is it seemed for a moment that EA was on board with it and then the pandemic hit and then the whole tune changed. So there is no telling if there's gonna be a third game, but I think American McGee is stubborn enough to go on forever if he has to in order to make it happen. I'll link the Patreon in the description, you should definitely check it out. As for the second game, am I gonna play it at some point? But I think I need a break from Wonderland now. But I hope I had a chance to show you why this is my favorite game, even if it's so frustrating. Actually, if I uh, go to main menu and say quit, So yeah, that's the intro to the second game. Um, the second game came out in 2010, so it was 10 years between them. You know, it, it looks very epic, so over time I will probably play it. But not uh, anytime soon. But if you enjoyed this series, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you like the video, like it so it gets more spread, so I can find more people to get more watchers. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video. I try to upload every Friday, sometimes the video might go on to Saturday. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!